Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Quisha. On this channel, I like to do makeup, mukbangs, and more. Y'all, today is a mukbang day. I almost said makeup. But today is a mukbang day. I got Taco Bell today. I got the Nacho Party Pack. I got the Blue Raspberry Sour Freeze, finally. And I got some Cinnabon Delights over here on the side. I hope y'all can see those. Yeah, and I got some Cinnabon Delights. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. They already messed up my order, of course. It wouldn't be Taco Bell if they didn't mess up something in the order. I asked for no pico, so I won't really be eating over there because that's where all the pico is. I don't eat onions and I don't eat cilantro, so. I'm like very mad because I tried to look in the box real quickly before I left, but there were so many people behind me and it was dark. So I thought I saw no pico, but when I got home and I opened it up, there was pico. And this is ground beef. I wanted to get shredded chicken, but y'all, yeah, that was $3 extra. I ain't got it. Not for Taco Bell. I know the angle is different. I was trying to make sure y'all saw the nachos. It's a little bit difficult with this box. So my head is cough a little bit, but it's cool. Let me try this freeze. The green is like the sour pieces. The sour swirls. That's good. I like that sour stuff. Y'all, it's a bit of a somber day. Today is Sunday. And earlier today... I found out that Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash, him and his 13 year old daughter. I don't even know what to say cause I thought it was fake at first. I couldn't believe it. So I've been in a weird mood all day. Just seeing all the clips of him and his daughter online and stuff is like and he just had another little girl in july my heart goes out to him and his family my heart goes out to his family and his loved ones his kids his wife it's just like what? I also saw some footage of LeBron. LeBron just last night broke one of Kobe's records and Kobe like congratulated him in a tweet. So they showed some footage today of LeBron getting off a plane and he was just like in tears and it's just like it just breaks your heart. It really does. Twenty twenty is off to a weird start, y'all. I'm so mad. I'm sorry, but I'm so mad. There's pico on my stuff. We've also had some deaths around us, like around where we live. I don't know these people personally, but I know people that know them. They also have young children. And it's just like, and it's like, it's, it feels weird because it's like people my age. I'm 33, so it's just like, these people are so young. And for their lives to be taken away from them, especially when they have children. Young kids, it's just like, it, it just breaks my heart. It's so sad. I feel bad for everybody. All of their family, their children, their spouses. So 
So all day has just been, well, these past couple of weeks have just been very weird. I'm not going to try to be in a sad mood this whole mukbang, but I just wanted to get that off my chest and just send my condolences to everybody and that has lost someone and their you know their loved ones it just my heart hurts i know what it's like to lose somebody close to me and that feeling never really goes away and it's just like kobe and his family they're all so young and it's just like oh my gosh he has a, i think he has a 17 year old daughter a 13 year old that died i believe there's one more beneath her and then the one that they just had in july beautiful family I don't follow basketball at all but I mean come on we all know who Kobe is you know I'm going to try to scrape some of this pico off because I want these jalapenos. And I want some of this guacamole. I'm going to scrape the cilantro off because I cannot eat cilantro. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I have that. I guess you call it an allergy. A certain percent of people in the world, when they eat cilantro, it tastes like soap and dirt. I'm one of those people. It tastes absolutely disgusting to me. So I gotta eat, be very careful and eat around it. I've thrown away whole meals. I've left restaurants without eating because my food came with cilantro on it and I just, I just can't eat it. It's not like onions or something where I just, I really don't like the taste of onions, but it's like, okay, I can eat an onion, you know, I'm not gonna die or nothing. Or it's like, you know, I don't like the taste, but I can taste it, it's fine, but like, cilantro is just that one for me y'all so i gotta scrape all this off pico is just everything i hate well I'm, I'm coming around on tomatoes but onions no cilantro no and i specifically said no pico and i could tell they were in a rush and i was like my food gonna have pico on it i know it. and i tried to check i did it was so dark my new rule is I'm not leaving that Taco Bell until I like completely check my order because lately all of my stuff has something has been wrong with it. And I'm not going to give up on Taco Bell because I like Taco Bell. <sighs> and of course they gave me no napkin. Cool. Like, okay, I see some over there. Hold please. Y'all hold on. I think we're good. I just can't eat anything over here in this corner. <laughs> the drama. This is good. I still think I like the pineapple one better though. I like that their guac has no onions. I appreciate that. My Cinnabon Delights feel kind of fresh today. I forgot to ask. So how y'all doing? Y'all all right? I'm all right. Like I told you, I'm just in a weird mood. But... I really want to make sure that going forward, I don't take every day for granted. I know a lot of people say, oh, don't do that. But you, to actually put that into action is another thing than just saying it. You know, appreciate every day. Yeah, sure. But how, how do you do that?
this goes back to me like I said in one of my other mukbangs you know I kind of fell off with meditation but I really want to during that meditation time take take the time to appreciate being alive and being in that moment reflecting on my day making sure that I do at least one thing every day that I'm proud of that makes me happy that's what that's what I want to do why are all these chips so little seeing all the good chips probably over here under the pico pico let me get a jalapeno Nitro Bucks is really good. Y'all would have been going tearing it up if it didn't have that pico in it. I'm being extra careful. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna spring for the I'm gonna go ahead and shell out the three dollars for the shredded chicken. <laughs> the beef is good, but I like their shredded chicken at Taco Bell. I mean, it's not like gourmet or anything, but you know what I mean? It's better than the, um, than the regular chicken there. And I think it's better than the steak too. Shredded chicken. Can y'all see my makeup? Do you like it? This look will be up on Wednesday. I filmed that today. I need to, be, I need to see what I'm doing, y'all. I'm sorry, I can't see. And I need some chips from over here. I gotta see, baby. It's got box started getting messy. <clears throat> Warning. I wish I had bigger chips. I need to scoop. I can't scoop with these. I think I need a fork. Why they play me with these little chips? I don't know if I can tell, but I'm hungry. All right, let me get a fork.
All right. I'm so glad the Cinnabon Delights at least seem somewhat fresh because y'all, it is my monthly time and today is the worst day of it. I'm on drugs right now. <laughs> my sweet tooth has been going crazy. So I need those Cinnabon Delights. You need to be good and fresh. Need something to brighten up my day. Guacamole is good. Y'all, by my next mukbang, I'm going to be talking about the book. I'm almost done with it. There's been a little bit more drama. Nothing like, well, you know, what we found out before. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go back and watch my previous mukbangs. <clears throat> When I first started doing mukbangs, I was reading a book and talking about a couple of chapters in each mukbang, but the book was too long. <laughs> so I'm going to switch up my style a little bit. I'm going to read the whole book first <laughs> and then come back and talk about it on one mukbang. <coughs> the jalapeno just hit me the next book i'm gonna read i'm gonna let y'all know so y'all can buy it and talk about it with me it's gonna be a movie that comes out later this year it's called death on the nile it has the, um leticia i can't think of her name her last name leticia she was in black panther <coughs> she's gonna be in it so I'll be reading that book because I'm the nerd that likes to read the book before I watch the movie. If there's a book available, if the, if the book is based on a movie, I like to read the book first. So that's the next book I'm going to read. It's like a murder mystery, so I'm very excited for the book and the movie. We all love a murder mystery, don't we? Why did guacamole do me like that? Get on the fork. Oh my gosh. Please, somebody get on the fork. I know what time it is. So beautiful. I'm just gonna eat all the meat. <laughs> what are we about to eat at? What are we about to eat at? a lot of beans. I got it. No, I got to see. I can't see.
I would definitely say this box is shareable with two people or one very hungry, one very hungry person. <laughs> Mike could definitely eat this whole thing. This is like all, all beans. What all the beans? I want the meat. This is all beans. Look at all that. I don't think that's it for me. Let me try to find one more meat bite. The final bite. It had a little bit of everything. Guacamole, meat. <sighs> the rest is just beans, pico, and chips. They playing with your girl. All right, let's get with these Cinnabon Delights. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <sighs> These are so good. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all can see these. Y'all see these? I don't know, I can't see. This freeze was very good. If you like blue raspberry, you'll like this. It gave me a good amount of sour syrup. Now, if they would have gave me Pico and gave me old Cinnabon Delight, y'all, I might have just had to drive back. I'm for real. I'm in that kind of mood today. Oh my God. The last one. This is so good. This is hitting the spot. Y'all know, ladies, when it's that time and you get that thing you've been craving and it hit that spot. I'm a happy camper. Well, y'all, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you like Taco Bell, give this video a thumbs up. Like, wait, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up. Get a comment down below. Talk to me. Let me know how was your day and how do you plan on making every day count? Share this video with everybody you know, and I will see you in the next video.